for you guys. So I'm going to go in there, see if they've got my parts in yet. And then when I get back home, I'm going to show you guys the blanking plugs for the mirrors. Because I keep forgetting to show you guys, so I'm just going to put that in. It's actually a pretty cold one today. I've got all my thermal gear on. Yeah, it's supposed to be raining today, so hopefully I finish up all this before it does start raining. Because I really can't be bothered dealing with that today. I didn't bring my rain gear. I'm also now running a second microphone in the tail section of my bike, so you can actually hear the engine properly. Because I've noticed in a lot of moto vlogs with a lot of different people, you can see the wind noise or their voice that you can hear. The only time you can really hear the engine is when they're really you know, opening up the throttle. So I put a second microphone and audio recorder into the tail section of my bike to record the engine noise. Now I did a test on this last weekend with the Triumph. It worked fantastically so now I'm just seeing how it goes with the Honda. Now in the Triumph I did have it in the uh, underneath the pillion cowl. On the Honda I've just got it in the tail bag so we'll see how that goes. blanking plugs now so that's what these little things are I'll take the mirror off and show you how they fit on the Honda okay so I took the mirror off on the Honda as you can see there's a hole there from the mirror these little blanking plugs so they just screw in and look much better than the hole so I'll put the link in the description for these so you guys can get a set I think they're about oh, they're less than $20 for a pair they look quite good and they are also they are exactly the same as the ones that fit on the triumph so there's the triumph hole as you can see i've got the barry mirrors on already so they fit nicely in the triumph as well so these are m10s fit both bikes and they look really nice the other thing i did on the triumph right this is the original mirror holding bit for the triumph so i got one that doesn't have that at all so as you can see if I had have left that on, you get this big extra bit there. So I replaced it with a Street Triple RS cap, so I didn't get that extra big bit there. And I'll put the link in the description for this one as well. This is actually less than the blanking plugs themselves. So you're going to need at least one for this side because that is part of that side. So you can't just replace that one. So a cap will do nicely there and then you replace that one and it looks quite nice. Put the links in the description for both of those the blanking plugs and that straight triple rs cap and uh you can check those out anyway thanks for watching don't forget to like comment below if you have any questions or you just want to comment on something uh, don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends and i'll see you in the next one